Okay, first ever drop in at the compound. Let's get it. We're finally back at the compound and we have got a heavy few days coming up where we're going to be grafting away. We actually had about a week and a half off because we had a few trips and riding things that we had to go and do. But today, as you can see behind me, we've got a pile of plywood and my bike. And the reason we have them two objects is because we're hopefully gonna finish the rolling and be able to test it. In the last episode, my dream of building a mountain bike freestyle compound came to life and we built this insane rolling behind me, which every time I come over here, I honestly can't believe that this is what we're making. But we've got a big day coming up because tomorrow we're getting the machine in and with the machine coming in, that obviously pushes the project along quite a way. But right now, we've got quite a lot of unanswered questions. The first of those being, I don't know how much speed we're gonna get down the roll in. And the speed also begs the question of how big can we build the jump? Once I can test this, figure out how much speed there actually is, I then have a much better idea of what we need to build tomorrow once the digger arrives. But today, the biggest thing that I'm faced with is actually building the curve, which I think is actually quite confusing because basically, this is steep, that's flat, we need to make a smooth transition, which is perfect, the perfect shape, which enables you to pump and give you maximum speed. I'm now on top of the roll-in and there's a quick little update because what I've done is I've actually put the handrail on the outside of the ply. So for strength, I did it on the inside, but then that with the handrail made the opening here like quite narrow. So that's giving you a lot more room. I might, if handlebars are tight, drop this down like that so there's no chance of hitting them but i think that should be fine in doing that making it wider obviously my bits of rail at the back didn't fit so there's a gaping hole there at the moment so you've just got to remember that and some of you also commented saying you should cross brace the ply which is what i've done check this out one there got crosses there and then one further up and what that's done is it's taken the wobble out so it's absolutely solid up here now which is perfect so we're going to run the first time lapse, which is going to be actually plying it first. And we're going to start with a curve here and then the front, because then it's going to help to get the 18 mil sheet up here because that's so heavy and there's no way of really lifting it with the two of us. Let's drop in. Right, we've come across our first little error of the project actually and that is that i've made this roll in 1.2 thinking that's how wide the sheet of ply is but they're actually 1220 millimeters so what i've got to do up here is i'm going to make my own rail saw and rip that down and then we can drop it in place what a disastrous start to this episode it was sunny when we started filming it started raining the ply didn't fit when i brought it up so we fixed it which was great but then as i bent it in place the nine mil wasn't bendy enough to go over curve just it was a tiny bit it just started to split so before i wasted the wood i realized now that i've got to go and get some six mil ply because it's a bit more flexible yesterday was an utter disaster in the end there's no beating around a bush about it but i want to leave it in the video because projects like this you set everything up you think it's going to be perfect and then it all goes wrong but it's now the next day i've got six mil ply it's all the right size this time and over here the digger is on the way in, so we're all action today. It's going to be sick. Let's build the. T let's run the time lapse, which was supposed to happen yesterday. quite funny really because with a project like this especially when you're filming it it seems like everything just all of a sudden knits together because we spent a few days prepping everything but now the rolling's ply we're ready to do the curve which is my next job and I think it's quite a difficult one but just turn around a second because we've had the machine in here for like two hours and it's looking incredible we've scratched a channel here this is actually perfect because I was worried about this. Loads of you said that I should put road planings down and make the ground solid, and that was the plan. But the reason I couldn't do that is because 
the access isn't that great, which is something we was doing this morning with the digger. We was making it so we could actually get that in here. And in the future, that might be something that I do more when I can get the materials dropped off here. But at the moment, it would be so much work. Like logistically, it just doesn't really work and the compound's not at that stage. And I want to get a jump running. So it does seem a bit of a waste putting ply down, knowing that in a year, I'm going to have to pull it back up and perhaps redo it. But that is what we're going to do for now. And scratching this back, Honestly, we couldn't have asked for better ground because this is like, it's like concrete. The digger couldn't even dig into it with the bucket that we had. And it's gonna drain so well. That's another episode where I'm gonna put a frame down there. We've marked out on the floor here for the kicker. And what I'm aiming for is a six foot kicker because I think ideally I'd like one a little bit bigger, but the size rolling that I've built, I think the speed's gonna be perfect. And I'd rather have a smaller kicker and loads of speed than a ramp or a jump that feels like you're always struggling for speed. As you can see, the landing is coming along an absolute treat. It needs to go a bit wider, needs to go up a bit taller. We'll obviously get a bit of a step up once we add some mulch. As well as a trials legend, <laughs> he's also quite handy in a digger, aren't you? Well, so they say. <laughs> How's this coming along? Yeah, it's really good. There's a lot, there's a lot of soil about it, a lot of uh, usable materials. Yeah. The ground's actually well good, isn't it? Yeah, you've got clay and um, hard pack stones, there. Stones, stones, hard pack concrete. Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, bit of everything which is good for building. How many hours do you reckon you spent in one of these over the years? It's not hours, it's most of my life. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours has he not spent in yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to rolling curves. What I've done on the back of the ply here, I've marked the angle that the rolling is and I'm now going to lay it down and mark a radius that fits that nicely. I think I've got a rough curve now. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. I'm going to cut and build this now and hopefully when I check back in with you, we will have the smooth rolling, which is complete. Would you take a look at this? I think it's come out absolutely perfect. Nice and smooth there, a nice gentle curve. And then it's raised here because that's perfect to pick up the floor, which I make in the future. Coming along nicely, sun's shining, landing's on its way. This is the dream. it hard to believe that we're stood here now with a helmet on i've got my jump bike we've got a landing and we've got a rolling which is about 90 percent complete we are in a bit of a rush because we're going to wales tomorrow because the vanta jam is next week so we've had to get our skates on to get this to a point where the rolling can actually be ridden but this is actually a momentous occasion right now because it's the first time that a feature we've built at the tom pound is going to be ridden ever. This video probably in time is going to be so funny to look back on and really nice to sort of remember this is what we built and this is the first time that the dirt is about to get some tires on it. The reason it's 90% finished is because firstly I want to cover the roll in with like some uh, scaffold netting. Next episode is about doing the floor so what I've done is I've just screwed a bit of ply on and done the biggest bodge job with some mud there to make it so it's possible to roll down. But we've got our steps on there, so you can actually get up it now. There's a bit of hand rail missing at the back, which I must remember to do, and it needs felting. What it's time for now is to ride it. So I'm gonna climb up and show you guys the view from the top behind handlebars. The space is at 400. So people with small legs like me aren't gonna struggle. <laughs> it's well easy. <laughs> Look at that, straight up. One of my biggest concerns was that I built the roll in so narrow at 1.2, which is the width of a plywood. But once you've got a bike up here, you can actually see there's so much room, which I'm absolutely stoked about. And I'm also really pumped with how long I've made it because it gives you a chance to get on the pedals and get yourself set, especially beginners like Cara. It's a real confidence thing before dropping in to that steep craziness. That is the view of dreams, that look. That's absolutely insane. But I'm going to drop in because I want to try this thing out. I've only got the mouth mount, so I might be a bit blurred when I speak, but let's see what speed this gives us. Okay, first ever drop in at the Tom Pound. Let's get it. Oh my God. <laughs> I jumped. 
Yeah! Woo! It's sick! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh! <laughs> it's so good! Oh my god! There's actually no better feeling than riding something you've built. That has just put a massive tick in the box, which I'm so stoked about. I actually think we can do our first trick here. Shall I do some go on that landing car, right? And I'll do the rolling and I'm gonna try to do a special little trick to christen the landing as well. I'm probably the most stoked person in the world right now. I'm so pumped and I'm excited for when we get back from Vantajam, what is gonna happen because we're gonna build the kicker, gonna get the floor done, get some mulch, and hopefully in the next episode, we'll actually have a trick jump, which would be sick. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give us a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a